Well, the injured Garda, who was travelling in an unmarked Garda patrol car, had stopped to give assistance to a motorist whose vehicle had broken down on the N25 on the Yall bypass shortly before 7 o'clock last night. The Garda patrol car was then struck by another vehicle and the Garda was seriously injured. He was taken to Cork University Hospital where his condition was initially described as critical but is currently uh, his condition is described as serious but stable. Now, Gardaí at Middleton are investigating. They are appealing for witnesses or anyone with camera or dash cam footage uh, to contact them. Uh, the road, uh, the Yall Bypass, remains closed currently while a Garda technical examination of the scene continues. And the Garda Representative Association say all their members' thoughts and prayers are with their injured colleague. All members of the association and indeed of a Garda Shea Corner were shocked and saddened to hear of the tragic accident last night. Uh, but it does highlight, unfortunately, the dangers that members of Angarda Shia Kona face daily in the execution of their duties. Uh, statistics would show that the vast majority of injuries to members of Angarda Shia Kona while on duty take place through tra traffic accidents. Now, tragically, in two separate crashes on Ireland's roads yesterday, two people lost their lives. Gardaí in Clonmel are investigating after a pedestrian, a man aged 67, was killed in a collision involving a car that was on the N24 at Towns Park, Carrick on Shore. And a 29-year-old motorcyclist was fatally injured in a collision with a tractor that was on the R173 in Omeath, County Louth. And Gardaí at Dundalk Garda Station are investigating.